again, uh, the question is, um, I remember in law school, my constitutional law professor at one point read a case, and he closed the case. He goes, well, that settles it. The Tenth Amendment, as drafted uh, by our founders, is officially dead after this case. Uh, and he was a liberal, so I don't know that he saw that as a bad thing. Um, but Donald Trump, uh, if, you, if, if people look back at the actions of Donald Trump, uh, they could be excused for coming to the same conclusion as John Meacham was saying about the 25th Amendment. And you've got somebody who in 2016 solicited help from Russia. Uh, Jonathan Lemire asked a question on whether he trusted an ex-KGB agent or his own intel agencies more while in Helsinki at that infamous press conference. And Donald Trump sided with the ex-KGB officer uh, in Helsinki and threw his own intel community under the bus on Russian interference when uh, everyone knows that Russia interfered in the 2016 election. Um, you have a president denying a pandemic was coming, even as Joe Biden was warning in January that it was coming. Donald Trump saying it was one person coming in from China. Donald Trump, a month after Joe Biden's stern warning, uh, saying there was only 15 people coming in from China. Mm -hmm. The next month saying, uh, I'd say I'll be gone very soon. And now we have almost 120,000 people dead. Then the president going on <clears throat> and in front of his White House doctors saying, let's try disinfectant, saying, let's try sticking lights inside of people while this pandemic was on the way to killing three times as many Americans. It's hard, it's hard to, it's hard to tell. I, I, I'm reading a biography about the Battle of Britain right now and the pain and the misery that the British people went through uh, as, as Hitler bombed their city almost every night. But we're in a pandemic that has killed three times as many people as died from Hitler's bombing raids during the Battle of Britain, up to 120,000. Now we're, we hear it's going to go up to 200,000 in the middle of this crisis. The president keeps denying it. He denies he denies that this crisis is here. He denied that it was coming. He denies that it will be here in the fall. And he engages in magical thinking that is untethered from reality. Well, Facebook, hello, my friends at Facebook. Well, Facebook puts out conspiracy theories that doctors that I've spoken to over the past week have had to tell their patients is a conspiracy theory, is a lie about Dr. Fauci, is a lie about the coronavirus, is a lie about it being the same as the flu. These things circulate around and grave damage is caused and the president promotes mm -hmm. this. And then of course you've got a president who openly praises China, asks openly for China's help while Marco Rubio says, oh, he's just joshing about asking a communist leader to interfere in American elections after an ex-KGB agent interfered in the 2016 elections. Marco said, he's just Josh, and isn't it funny? Mm. He's just that way. And then we find out behind the scenes, Donald Trump gives his go-ahead to the building of concentration camps for a million minorities in China. And we find out that he also says that journalists should be executed. So, Willie, I wonder... When Mike Pence writes his book and starts pitching his book six months from now, will Mike Pence lie and say, well, at this point, I started thinking about the 25th Amendment and I went and talked to A or talked to B or, or I mean, the, all of these. Will Kelly, Kellyanne Conway be the one who lies and says, I, yes, I was I was very concerned and I just. I let people know that, hmm. that I was so concerned. Again, Kellyanne Conway, the person who screamed at a CBS reporter uh, early on who had suggested the coronavirus was not contained, and she snapped at her saying, oh, are you a doctor? Are you a doctor? Are you saying it's not contained? And here we are 120,000 deaths later recognizing 
The CBS reporter was right. Kellyanne Conway was pushing fake news. And again, now maybe going up to 200,000. But will Kellyanne Conway be the one that says, yes, I was, I was so concerned. I, I furiously worked around the White House corridors to try to get someone to push forward the 25th Amendment, to take this man out of office. Willie, who's going to say it then? You know they are. You know they're going to lie. They're all liars. You know they're going to lie. Who's going to say it? Nobody in real time, I can tell you. Nobody in real time. Nobody, nobody uh, will, will do it when we need it most, just like John Bolton didn't do it when America needed to hear the truth the most. We're going to see a long list of books in the next few years of people whose claim will be that they were the ones, they were the guardrails, they were the ones that kept the country together because they were on the inside and that it was some patriotic duty they had to do that. How many pieces have we seen about Jared and Ivanka off the record? They were the ones who tempered the president. There's another story in the New York Times today anonymous White House sources saying they told the president, you can't say when the looting starts, the shooting starts. You already see this stuff. So imagine what it's going to look like in more books like John